Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Vandals have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Idaho will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he shoved out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nevada's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 48-yard line, second down. right around the 40. He gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gaining four yards. Third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Here we go. And he's taken down around the 30 yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. Two times, two times. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Here's an opening. He's at the 20. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he 
tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. This is Big Ten football. Right up in your grill. Nobody backing down. And for Michigan State, they've won two straight. The Spartans win it 30 to 27. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Low fields in at the 11. Tackle made at the 48. Kirk, today we get to watch one of the great wide receivers in college football. Lowe's footwork, his great hands, his speed. He is a dangerous offensive weapon. No doubt, Brad. He's really one of the most exciting players to watch in college football. He catches everything that's thrown his way and is a legitimate deep threat downfield to make big plays for this offense. He's going to face some doubles, sometimes even triple team coverage. And I think today, this defense, they might do a decent job of slowing him down, but eventually, he's too dangerous. He's going to make some big plays. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Anderson intended to see the play. That brings us third and 10. They come out on an empty backfield. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. yard line so a nice little pitch and catch there and that'll give the offense a first down that was a very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains first and ten ball on the 19 yard line He makes it to the 18-yard line. Barnes on the run, tackled outside after a nice pickup. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Baylor in action over in Waco. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Miners are on top, 13-6. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Bennett, ready to kick. Morris fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. And down he goes to the 35-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. 
from their own 37 yard line. It's second down. Nevada holds a four point lead. Catches it and he's looking for more. He's tackled at about the 45. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Wolfpack lead 7-3. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And down he goes around the 46 yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. thread the needle and it's not going to work and the quarterback just can't believe it he really wishes he could have that one back every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back however hey a pick is a pick and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back first and ten ball on the 49 yard line it to the senior tackle around the 40 yard line first down and he throws it away From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 29. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So it's second and 10. Ball in the 29. He's on the run. He's at the 20. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. Gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, Looks middle, got his back. And they got him for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. From the 12-yard line, third down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at about the nine-yard line. Miller gains around three yards on the scramble. That 
He gets it up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Mike Bennett is lined up to kick this one off. Taylor takes it to 12. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nevada is up one. Throws left. The running back's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Scrambling around. He's at midfield. Slides down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 42-yard line, first down. Open, incomplete. Poole was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Receiver and he can't make the grab. Taylor, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Nevada, up a point. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Nevada is going to use their first time out of the half here. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he is drilled at the 20-yard line. Nothing flashy at all. But now that first down marker is a lot closer. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's looking for six. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Johnson gets set to kick this one away. Lowe fields it at the three. And he's tackled at the 26. 
points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 10-6, Nevada. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. With the best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Great first half of a tight ball game and we're set to start quarter number three. Williams fields it at the 11. Room around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 35. That makes, that makes it second, it second and two. two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. almost has the INT. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it 31. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Got a man, watch out here. Touchdown, Vandals. Defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 13-10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taylor takes it at the four, at the 30. Across midfield, and he has it on the corner. He's on the run. The 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Motion, motion, motion. 
gains his way to midfield. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. six-yard line no game on the way. That brings from the 46-yard line second down Quinn it's a handoff to the right he's at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 and a huge touchdown play you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 17-13. Johnson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in the third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. Because so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Caught with room to work. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. That's good for a game of 20 yards. First down. From the 22 yard line, first down. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down right around the 14 yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And they'll run him again. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. From the 17-yard line, it's third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike and he drops it. Fourth 
Kicks up, and it's good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. And for Baylor, they remain red hot. And for Howell, making people take notice with four touchdown runs. Real recognize real, and real recognize this kid. In another game, the Badgers arrive at today's game ranked 20th. And for Wisconsin, they look to continue their hot streak. The Badgers are on top, 28-21. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 32. Idaho's coaching staff's got to be excited. Their game plan was to get it in this guy's hands, and they've done a great job of it. Well, they've done a really good job of getting the football, and they've come up with a variety of ways of putting the ball in his hands. And I think you combine the scheme with this young man's abilities, it's no wonder he's having such a big game. Nevada is up one. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 36-yard line. He has some room. Makes it out to about the 50. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 17-16, Wolfpack. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Second down and five. Ball on the 45. And he's taken down at the 30. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From the 15-yard line, first down. Nevada with a one-point lead. The 10, the 5, touchdown Wolfpack. the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 41. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. Good tackle there in space. Sanders makes the tackle at the 38 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Shoot! 
He fights forward to about the 46. From the 46 yard line, second down. Quick throw, and he will score. All right, guys, crucial two-point conversion. They'll try to tie this thing up. Now he tries to buy some time. He's got the two. Those guys just came through with probably the biggest play of the game. They had to get the conversion, and they got it. Bennett looks ready to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Receiving team. one will put the offense in a hole and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play this is when things get a little prickly you need your playmakers to really come through here just under three to go in regulation he's out to the 30 the 50 inside the 30 the 10 touchdown Nevada tell you what this kid is incredible he's got the moves the speed the power he's the total package and he tacks on the extra point Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Badgers were ranked 20th. That performance showed that they are capable of moving much high. And for Wisconsin, their winning streak reaches five. And for Paul, he hit the 200-yard mark passing. The Badgers win it by three. Touchdown difference here, Reese, 31-24. Johnson gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in just trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. First down. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Just over two minutes in the game. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Two minutes left in the ball game. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires that quickly incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. the stop at the 47. So they're going to go for it here. Oh. 
So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From the 39-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Quinn gains around six yards on the run. Idaho is going to have to use their second time out of the half. A little over a minute in the game. Brought down around the 30-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Idaho will use their final timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. This should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. From the 30-yard line, second down. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Lowe's play today, I think, shows again why he is one of the best in the country. Sadly for him, they don't get the victory. Well, he puts on a huge performance, and his team loses. I mean, hopefully he goes back and he talks to his teammates and tries to really help them get over this loss because it's not about his own performance. It's about the team losing the game. Well, that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.